Okay, I'm going to make this pretty short. A new kernel mod exploit got released because we basically got forced to release it because a lot of people leaked it, shared it with other people which were not allowed to. And therefore TNV is coming to Farmer 3.18. As you can see it has the newest features like reset TNV settings and reset all settings and such stuff. And if I go to system settings, system information, you can see 3.18 TNV version 10, so it's the newest TNV. I will show you pretty simple that I can run ISOs, I can run homebrews and I can run PS1 games with sound. That should be enough and then the video shouldn't be so long. It's not known if um, a new game for 3.18 will be released but the ZHP or Zeti Hero project game should be able to run TNV at Farmer 3.18. We will release a game for the Farmer 3.30, so the upcoming one, but that game will only support VHBL at 3.30. If you get the new game and run it at 3.18, then it will support TNV. So the new border between can run eCustom Farmer and cannot will now be between 3.18 and the new version 3.30. I'm pretty sure that it will also delay the farmer 3.30. As you can see, games are also running. This is even imported, so yeah. The files for the ZHP TNV version 10 um, exploit should be released pretty soon. Just be patient. And as always, don't update to Farmer 3.30 because 3.30 will very, very, very most likely fix TNV. At least through the new kernel exploit. It would have been smarter to wait, but People pissed off the developer of the kernel exploit and so he released it. Enjoy your 3.30 without kernel exploit. So I will now run also homebrews, um, I mean emulators, like this Pokemon here. And the last thing I will show you is running PS1 games with sound. Like I said, I will try to make this very short, because I don't have that much time, and it's fucking early in the morning, 6am, next time do it some other time. Holy shit, um, here, Grandia, that's a PS1 game. It should be working. That's weird. I think that the new TNV version 10, it's kind of buggy in terms of running PS1 games. It's also recommended to use version 9.7, it's more stable. But whatever. As you can see, it's firmware 3.18. I ran TNV on this device, and if I try to update via Wi Fi, it should say I've already installed the most recent firmware. Let's see. There we go, most recent firmware, system 3.18. Expect the file soon, I've got new friend requests, nice. And I'll do that and see you soon.